Welcome back, Rust electricity lovers. Here I'm gonna show you how to make a blinky light for want of a better word or phrase. Um, here you can see I've got three of them on the top of this uh, little tower that I recently used on a small base building video. And I'm gonna go into how the electricity works for this. This is useful more for looks, but you could use it for anything, some kind of alert system in your base or anything like that. And I think it looks better than the rotating siren light uh, that you get by default. That's got its, uh, its uses RP wise, but this just looks pretty good. Uh, and I've got this as an aviation, I forget the true name for these, aviation warning light, I think, AWL. And they look good at the top of any tower. As you can see, this was the little base I used in a previous video. Let's go straight through and look at the circuit. Now, I've got one small battery powering this circuit on its own. The other battery is for the surveillance camera. Uh, so what is this doing? So you've got power coming in. I would recommend putting a switch on this so you could turn it off. I didn't bother. You have the power being shared via this branch. Uh, I've just got this set to two. It goes in and to activate this switch, to power the switch. And when you first turn it on, I've got this set to three seconds. You can see all the rest of the power goes into this blocker to provide power to the lights. Or whatever you wanna activate on and off, basically, repeatedly, or pulse. So, this powers this switch, which I've got, uh, this timer switch, which I've got set to three seconds. That keeps the power blocked every time it turns off for a second it will allow the blocker to pass its power via that orange cable there we go that makes it a bit easier to see and in that moment the power can come through and shoot up to the lights or whatever you're powering it also branches a little bit out to the timer to activate it again which causes itself to block and then it rinse and repeats forevermore, providing you've got power coming into the system. And that is it. So I'll let you digest that for a second in case you need to. It's actually quite simple when you get your head around it. Uh, you do need a blocker and a couple of branches and a timer. Um, I believe there is a way to do this with a couple of timer switches, but I've not played with that. Um, like a flip-flop circuit or even a um, memory cell. I think I've seen a, a video ages ago of that being done. I can't remember who by or or whatever, but that might be worth searching for. But this is how I've done it a couple of times when I've wanted a light at the top of the tower. And if you have a large-ish base that you're flying into uh, and you have got towers uh, like with uh, windmills on, stuff like that, you want to avoid them, you could, put, you could put a normal light at the top, of course. But this is quite nice. You could even have it activated on a HBHF sensor so it only comes on when you're near. But there you go. Hope that circuit is of use to you at some point. And uh, it progresses your rust electricity skills. I like it. Anyway, thanks for popping in. See you on the next one. Hmm, better shot than last night.